What should you do when it's time to shoot your album cover and get some good shots for your booklet, but you can't afford a big warehouse with the space you need? And what are you supposed to do if you're really camera shy? Well, my friend, keep watching because in this video, I'm gonna be sharing some special DIY tricks that will make your photo shoot the best it can be. Let's blast off and get started. <laughs> to our friends, I'm Jonathan Miller and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music, helping you become a better indie artist. I make futuristic and outer space inspired dance pop music and every Wednesday on this channel I'm helping others take their music to level two. If that sounds good, consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell. If not, wow, hope your photo shoot fails. I'm sorry, I'm only joking. I didn't mean it. Please don't feel pressured into subscribing because that would be bad. I'm so sorry, please turn to side B. Please turn to side B. Please. <laughs> Think about that. So whether it's for just your album cover or a full on album booklet, photo shoots can be a lot of work. They can also be a little intimidating if you're camera shy, but it doesn't have to be so complicated. So here are a few photo shoot secrets that will help bring your vision to life. Tip number one, transform easy locations. Here is the cover from my latest EP, Utopia. It looks pretty sleek, right? Want to know where we shot it? In my mother's living room. Literally, if I was looking the other way in this photograph, I would be staring at her TV. Point is, use what you got. Take a look at some spaces that you have access to. Is it your friend's house, your apartment, your mom's house? Use your imagination. You really don't need to spend hundreds of dollars renting out some big studio space or driving a million hours to some special location. Move some furniture out of the way. That's what we did. Put bed sheets up. Pro tip, iron them. Yeah, learn that the hard way. Basically, just disguise what doesn't match your aesthetic. Create your own space. My mom's living room is not super big, but we pushed everything out of the way, and I worked with my photographer ahead of time on what we could do with lighting and angles. The only thing we actually paid for on this set were the cherry blossoms in the little branch behind me, and then we hot glued them to a fallen tree branch in my stepdad's backyard. Some imaginative set building will go a long way. Tip number two, bring extra lighting. Yes, longtime subscribers, I will say this in as many videos as I possibly can. Lighting should be your number one priority, whether that is a music video shoot or a photo shoot. Bring some extra lamps with you. Meet with your photographer ahead of time and see if you've got the right light bulbs too. Because despite popular belief, not every light bulb is the same color. And while we're at it, not all water tastes the same either. Trust me, I'm from Oregon. I know, that didn't have anything to do with anything. Anyway, I've done a lot of photo shoots in my career, so trust me, bring extra lighting, even if you think you've got enough. If you spend money anywhere on your photo shoot, invest in good lighting. Chances are your photographer will have some, but don't be afraid to ask and see if you can provide some additional lighting as well. Teamwork makes the dream work, as they say. And tip number three, Practice ahead of time in the mirror. You're watching a tutorial of sorts right now on YouTube. After this video, go check out some videos on modeling tips, so that way you can feel more comfortable in front of the camera. This will also help you understand when your photographer says cool things like, um, can you soften your jaw and maybe like relax your eyes? And then you won't stand there with that awkward look like, I make music, I, I, don't, I don't know what any of those words mean. Is this soften? Practice in front of the mirror. Notice little things about your body and the way you carry it. Not to harshly judge yourself extensively, but to learn how you can be more fluid in your movements. I know it feels really silly to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, but you do it for the camera on Instagram, so what's the difference? As with all of these tips, meet with your photographer ahead of time, do some test shots and see what they recommend so you can practice. The more prepared you are ahead of time, the better your photo shoot will be, and that awesome album cover will be yours in no time. So those are some tips on album photo shoots. Question of the video, which of these tips did you find the most helpful? Leave me a comment below letting me know. If you wanna check out some other videos I have on music video tips and tricks, there are links in the description below so you can check them out. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new. I put out new videos every single Wednesday. Once again, I'm Jonathan Miller. And I will see you next time. See you later.